Okay, today's word of the day is autonomous vehicles. Now, I was so impressed by my conversation with Kevin Comstock from the city of Chattanooga that I wanted to explore the concept even further on this segment. Now, you could say the concept of autonomous machines dates back as, as far as the 1860s. Now, this is when self-propelled torpedoes were first invented. Now, this is one of the earliest guidance systems, and it led to autopilots on airplanes, auto tillers on sailboats, and even semi-autonomous military drones. Now, we've talked about that a lot, right? So today, we're going to be on what you could say is the precipice of having autonomous cars on all of our roads. But like anything else, construction companies, all of you, have to build the infrastructure to support all of this. Now, we all talk about that as well. So these vehicles will be capable of sensing the environment and even navigating their streets without any of us at the wheel. Now, autonomous vehicles direct their surroundings using a host of technologies, such as LIDAR and radar and GPS, 360-degree camera systems, and even some of these nifty, powerful onboard processing computers. So today, the government is kind of directing the advancement of the autonomous vehicle movement. In fact, last September, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration released federal guidance for automated driving systems. And this governance supports the development of all of this technology. And it calls for industry and government and even the advocates to kind of work together to deploy automated vehicles and associated technologies. So this means the infrastructure needs to finally advance it as well. And this comes as no surprise. In fact, I've been talking about it on my radio show for more than a year or so. And that means we need vehicle to infrastructure technology to help make all of this a reality. And that means it's time for the construction industry and all of you and us to get ready for it. So V to I is critical component of the connected autonomous driving world. Now a system of hardware and software and firmware and wireless communication will enable the transfer of data between vehicles and the road infrastructure. And it all starts with what we're talking about, all the cities. It will take a truly connected town to help get this technology on all of our roads. Autonomous vehicles. Now that's your word, or I should say words, of the day. And thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, where we are talking tech at the job site.